More than a hundred supporters cheered State Treasurer Tim Cahill Saturday morning at the grand opening of his campaign headquarters in Quincy. This is a, this is a different race uh, all around. We knew that before Scott Brown was elected uh, in January. People in Massachusetts are tired of business as usual. We're tired of the way the economy is going. The people are hurting. They need jobs. They need to fix the economy. They're tired of business as usual in Beacon Hill. Tim is not somebody that's been around recently singing fiscal responsibility. He's been somebody with a strong record, a record that you all here today know about, and we're going to spread around the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and make sure that people as a whole understand that he's about fiscal responsibility, about making the tough decisions, and about bringing some accountability to government on Beacon Hill. Thank you. For people who don't realize um, the way we're running this race is under the old system, we would have to get delegates. You'd have to get elected. You'd have to fight your way onto a ballot, go to a convention, and keep your fingers crossed and pray that I get 15%. Because that's what the Republicans are doing and that's what the Democrats are doing. Today, we're going right to the people. We, we are avoiding all of that party business. We're avoiding all of those special interests and we're going right to the people. Because if I get 10,000 signatures, I'm on the ballot in November. 10, As Paul said, this message of fiscal responsibility, of independence, of taking care of the middle class and focusing not so much on government, but on the people, is going to resonate. It's going to resonate. People are already talking about it. People need to hear it. We're going to win this race. I am going to be elected. <laughs> The goal when we get in is to cut taxes, yes. is to make government more responsible and live within its means, is to put more money in your pockets and put more money in the pockets of businesses across the state so that they can start hiring people, so that our young people can get jobs, so that those of us in the middle can get jobs and keep our jobs, and so that those people who are looking to protect their future and the futures of their family can stay here in Massachusetts. This is a great state. We have so many assets, we have so many advantages, and we need to put government on our side. Not on the side of the special interests, not on the side of the parties, but back to being on the side of the people. This is a grassroots campaign for those people who didn't think we could do it. Well, I'm supporting Tim uh, because I was always a lifelong Democrat. I was born and raised as a Democrat. But um, in the past few years, my party has not been speaking for me. And um, Tim represents an independent thinker. I like his views. He's a fiscal conservative, but he has very good social uh, views that I that are liberal and um, current. And he's a good man. He's, he's, a, he's a, a good, good thinker, and I'm supporting him. I'm supporting for his independence, that he has a ma mind of his own, and he has good thoughts behind that mind also. And uh, he has shown that he supports very nicely the senior citizens of our state. And what's your top issue? Uh, oh my gosh, health care, I believe, at my age. <laughs> And do you want, what do you want from health care? Do you want the... I, I don't want anything to happen to what we have, especially in Medicare, which they keep saying could happen. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger. For more coverage, see today's edition of the Patriot Ledger or go to patriotledger.com.